Hello and welcome to the topic what is morpheme It's a minimal unit of meaning or gravitational function The second point is in other words it's the smallest meaningful unit in the grammar of a language We move on to the next what is morpheme and we have the next point a morpheme is what makes up words the next point we have some single morphemes are words while other words have two or more morphemes within them now we move on to the next what is morpheme we continue the discussion and sometimes a morpheme functions as a word for example play it's a morpheme it functions as a word go it's a morpheme it functions as a word likewise book move and so on what is morpheme we continue the discussion sometimes words have two or more morphemes within them for example talk it's one morpheme s another morpheme together we make the word talks so here we say that sometimes words have two or more morphemes here we have two morphemes talk and s talks likewise we have talk again a separate morpheme er another morpheme and we have the word talker and then we have talk ed and the word we have talked un kind another morpheme and li unkindly so unkindly has three morphemes un kind and li so what we come to know is that sometimes words have two in in such words like talks talker talked we have two morphemes or more morphemes within them here we have more than two okay now we'll move on to the next what is morpheme we continue our discussion many words have two or more syllables but only one morpheme more syllables but one morpheme for example banana it has more than one syllable but it is one morpheme we cannot further divide banana into two parts apple it's it has more than two syllables but it's a single morpheme likewise elephant many syllables but one morpheme papaya many syllables but one morpheme so what we come to know is that some words many words have two or more syllables but only one morpheme we move on to the next what is morpheme we continue our discussion on the other hand many words have two morphemes but only one syllable two morphemes but one syllable for example look at cat s cats what we say many words have two morphemes but one syllable cats have two morphemes cat and s but it's a one syllable cats we speak it at one go likewise we have run s another morpheme two morphemes but one syllable runs bark ed two morphemes but one syllable barked pen one morpheme another morpheme s pens one syllable so we have the words having two morphemes but only one syllable and we have more what is morpheme thus what we come to know is that thus a morpheme does not necessarily have to be a word for example the word cats has two morphemes cat 
is a morpheme and s is also a morpheme that's all we have thank you and goodbye